Hey, Endless Honeymoon Podcast listeners, if you love this show, the best way to support us is to buy some merch. We have a coffee mug, we have an amazing beach towel, and we have some very cute short shorts in many sizes. That's right. So if you want to get yours now and make your butt look like Natasha's butt, go to EndlessHoneymoonPod.com slash shop. Welcome to the Endless Honeymoon Podcast. My name is Moisha. Ew. Ew. I don't like that name. I don't like that tone. That felt very <laughs> anti-Semitic. No, it's like if someone calls me Tasha. <laughs> kind of. Um, Tasha, mm-hmm. listen, I got to get this off my chest before we bring our very exciting guest on uh, into the call. I had a fucking freaky moment last night, and I would say your bedside manner was, I would say, a two out of ten. <laughs> um, I was in bed. It's midnight. We're watching MASH. What do you want me to do well let's a very sexist movie by the way we're trying to finish our oscar best uh screenplay screenplay and mash was what we decided on extremely sexist very every sexist. woman is just like oh you want the you want the blonde or the brunette i'm gonna spin her around and how about i take both <laughs> <laughs> And they're just like playing pranks on the women and they're, hum- right. but, but the women there's are like getting a, genuinely humiliated. There's a scene where they like can't decide whether the blonde has blonde or brown pubic hair. So they <laughs> arrange like a public uh, humiliation where they rip off the canvas where she's showering so they can all look at her pubes. And then it's just like, huh. and then she runs into her supervising <laughs> officer. It's She runs into her supervising officer and is like, if this doesn't stop, I'm going to resign my commission. He's like, well, resign your goddamn commission, bitch. It's just, no, he's like, hot lips. She's like, they keep calling me hot lips. He's like, sorry, hot lips. Like, it's, it's just, uh, anyway. How it became an American institution uh, on it, that I'd runway. I never understood MASH if someone could play the TV show. It was just very odd to me. It's a weird movie. But People anyway. Ins- but the, it is interesting to see their mask technique. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting to now see. Now that we're a, 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 a universe of masks. I was looking at their masks and going, how are there mask deniers when since the Korean War, <laughs> doctors were wearing masks in the theater of operation. And then remember, someone came in without a mask and he's like, get the hell out of here. I do not want to be responsible for you infecting this open, this person. So. And then he was like, uh, COVID. He said COVID and it was really forward thinking. Anyway, n- n- neither here nor there. In the middle of MASH, Natasha's dribbling asleep as she always does when we watch a movie. I, fe- I rub that back of my head and I feel a little bump and I'm like, what the heck? What's this bump? And I pull out of my hair oh my God. a fucking gigantic eraser-sized tick. Why I have ticks in bed, I don't know. I'm freaking out. Natasha stirs well, they're a not bit. in bed. It's in your head. Yeah, they're in bed. Well, you never heard of bed head? That's what it's based on. Anyway, I pull this freaking tick out of my head. Natasha stirs a bit. I'm like, oh my God, look what I just pulled out of my head. And she's just like, could you turn the light off? You're making a lot of noise. I'm like, there's a fucking tick infesting me with well we went on a hike we go on a hike every day what do you expect you never heard of Lyme you never heard of Rocky Mountain Fever I've never heard of Rocky Mountain Fever well that's what this kind of tick by the way they don't uh, apparently I looked it up I quickly downloaded an an insect identification app and it was a it was a brown dog tick And it's fucking fat, dude. So what do you think it's from? Do you think it's from our hikes? I don't even know. I don't even know. I think it might honestly be... Do you wear a hat on a hike? I honestly think it might be from you. Oh, my God. Because you aren't that cleanly. (laughs) I don't know. I'm way cleaner than you. You think so? Yeah. Not. I'm not talking must. I'm talking um, cleanly. Okay, Mosh. Well, well these, I'm um, sorry you got a dog tick in your head. It's not I'm even sorry that. I didn't start crying last night. Remember when, a, when a, cute, a cute mouse ran across the floor and you were like, ah, ah, ah. you had a fucking panic attack? If there's a cockroach a yard away, you'd be like, Mosh, organ, <laughs> help me. I pull an, a, a parasite out of my body and you're like, uh, it's a little bright in here. Could you keep it down? Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, I might but have. What do you want me to say? Oh my you god, got it, you got it out. Oh my god, that's I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't start clapping. Cl- cl- clapping, I was glad you got it out of your head. You should have clapped. It wasn't, and you know what? I would have been worried if it was like a half of a tick, but it was like a full, it was actually extremely okay. large. Why was it so big? L- 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 let me, let that me. was not a that was not ever the kind of tick I've seen. I before. know it's a North American deer tick. That and was really let me, gross. Let me, let me read you a text that I sent to Andrew about this. I said, I pulled this tick out of my hair. He writes back. Oh my God, sorry. Are you okay? 
That's how you should have responded. My male platonic friend had more loving and c- compassion. I'm sorry. Anyway, speaking of loving compassion, our guest today, a loving, compassionate, and talented person. She is the star of This Way Up, the show that just its second season and first season. Just and won a BAFTA. Won a freaking BAFTA, dude. On, on you can Hulu. watch it on Hulu. With it's freaking good. Sharon Horgan, I love everything that she's a part of. And of course, her co-star and our guest today, Ashling B. Whoa! Hey, hey. Wait, we can't see you. We Hold can on. hear you. Oh, have I turned off? Oh, I've taken off my video. There we go. Now I reveal yes. myself. Yes. Hello. Oh my God. Oh, hi guys. Look at. Is that your real house? This is our real house. Yeah. Is that your real uh, hallway? <laughs> No, my it, the, actually, I just got embarrassed that this is my real office space, and it looks like a hallway. That was such a burn. No, I didn't you mean called it, it a hallway. I didn't Moja. mean it as a roast. You called it a no, hallway she... to my face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was Justin Bieber, and you guys were on the roast of me. For uh, God's sake, a hallway! Oh God. Ashling, the thing. Ah, uh, now look at that. Uh, look at those. Look at that storyboard back there. Look at those notes you've put. Look. I can tell a lot about you from just your office. Your your oh, orderly. Really? You have good taste. Um, you're clean. Look how everything's hung up. We don't have stuff like that at our house. One thing I've noticed is that your your vibe has changed drastically since you won the BAFTA. Like I can feel <laughs> BAFTA energy coming from you. Well, well, well. Has it changed <laughs> since I won the the BAFTA? Um, let me just take you down to my actual hallway. I wonder where you're walking to. It's hard to know what your mission is right oh, now. Oh, I'm just I'm just when I sometimes when I do podcasts and stuff, I like to um, move about I just a bit. Like to move. I, I'm not one of those. Um, I suppose stagnant comedians. Sure, I do. I do like to move. Um, to She's going to show us her um, screening room now. Marcia. Wait a second. What's that? I, what is that little face there in the in, on the shelf? <laughs> what? <laughs> there seems Sorry. to be a, a small face, like a. A, a, a Roman emperor or something on the shelf behind you? Oh, yeah, what you? is that? It's, it's right... No, 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 to the... Oh, him. Oh, my God. Is that, got, is that a bathtub? Don't bath creep up... But I, sorry, you know when um when someone creeps up behind you, you don't... It, it can take you genuinely by surprise. And what people never tell you is genuinely how heavy these things are. That's something people never say, but they really are uh, quite heavy. And heavy always wear a mask, guys. Until we... Until we Kick this this virus in the nuts, <laughs> and it really is gone. I have always, to say, always wear a mask. It's a gorgeous award, but it's, it's also terrifying. But it's it's, it's prettier than it the Oscar. Actually. It's I prettier love it. but scarier than the <laughs> Elegant. Oscar. Elegant. It for sure has terror involved. By the, the way, the weird thing about it is, I n- I've never done that before, and now, you know, like if you catch yourself in the mirror. And you look like another person for a second. Then you're really scared of your own reflection at night before you go to bed. <laughs> Doing that with the eye really, really scared me. And so I sort of want to leave it like that now. So I don't. I loved your idea of using it as a COVID mask, like just to, as a flex to walk around the yeah, streets. Going into the shops. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Of course. No, absolutely. Out of respect. Oh, maybe starting your Zooms. Oh, yeah. That is a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Every Zoom meeting you have, start with the BAFTA on your face and then reveal Hello. yourself. <laughs> yes, especially, especially if it's for something like with my physio, because we're still doing it over Zoom. Oh, yeah, so, nothing to do with so entertainment at all. <laughs> or if someone ever has the nerve. Hi, Dr. Brent. Yeah, shoulder okay. <laughs> I, it, it's if someone ever has the nerve to make you audition for something and it's yeah. like something you really want, you should just start it. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. I don't bloody think... I'll be doing any more auditions, Natasha, anymore. <laughs> I really do have that. Actually, it's been real slow, guys. You think it's like that stopped? <laughs> it like that stopped my emails working or something. Oh, that you was know. the end? Actually, uh, yeah, um, that's the end of the tour there. So, Ashling, what's going on? This is other, my hallway. Other than, oh, that now that looks very hallway ish. Other than the uh, rousing you know what, success. Do you know what I also have in, in the hallway randomly? Just realized. Um, is that I, I, I'm I probably not going to be able to make one of my best friend's weddings at the weekend. And I just realized I'm sending her. I thought it'd be funny because it's also the christening of my godson. I thought it'd be funny to send her down this, but I was like, God, do you know what? Maybe just in case they catch it on it, a, a cardboard cut out of myself. Of yourself? <laughs> it's from, do you remember that show I did? Oh, 
in, in place of me yeah because it's so sad and so I just thought it'd be funny like if that's in photos if I just can make it into especially for my godson's christening because I'm like when he gets older I want to have been at his christening so but I just thought I was like god I've really made an ego palace for myself haven't I <laughs> you should make him start calling you auntie bafta I think is <laughs> I, I think with the christening you want the cutout like to have a handler because if there's no handler it might just kind of end up in the corner and be kind of sad or people might start trampling on it or what if people start you know oh sure that happens you know, that happens at every cr- no I think she means fingering no. the cutout <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that'll happen at every christening. That's a classic well, christening prank. It. Yeah. But I, I loved how you actually sounded like you were um, a kind of 16-year-old who hadn't been to prom yet. <laughs> Making fun of her? No. <laughs> <laughs> We'd finger it. <laughs> and Moses was like, no, I think she means fingering. <laughs> we wouldn't mock her. We would, I think we... she definitely means fingering. <laughs> um, what else is going on besides the rousing success of your show, This Way Up? on Hulu? Uh, what else is going on? Well, uh, just sort of, um, God, I don't, I don't know. I actually wasn't prepared for that question. Well, what's, <laughs> what's, what's going on? What's going on? It's a pretty, I know it's a hard hitting question, but that's the kind of journalism we well, do over here's, here. Here's a good question. <laughs> How is your transition into the world? Do you feel like you're opening up a little bit more, even just, uh, do you know, you know what? psychologically? It's interesting. Well, it's interesting meeting you guys. Because I'm actually going to another friend of mine who's a stand-up comedian here called Ed Gamble's wedding next week. And I remember that you, Natasha, online and Ed were the first people who I would, like if someone else was saying something about this virus going around, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't really believe them. And when you said that you were cancelling your shows, it must have been maybe February or March 2020, was it? Yeah, Moshe, and, Moshe and, went and I cancelled. I did one, yes, she cancelled. Yes, she she yes, cancelled yeah, her yeah. half of the gig. <laughs> we see who Natasha literally would have been in the movie. You know, right. like an Independence Day or whatever it was. <laughs> Take up the dog and the kid and run. Oh, <laughs> she's, the, she's the star <laughs> I die in the intro. Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, without a doubt, yeah. yeah. And she'll find a, hell, a bunch of misfits along the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of the star than a prepper, Moshe. Yeah, well, I'm more of a, of a, a plot device, a plot driver. Yes, yes. I go to the gig. Wait now, you're t- telling me that these winds are never normally this bad around hurricane <laughs> season <laughs> he's done his job get him out of here um, but I remember I was like not thinking it was just a, a kind of like you know a, a thing that people get scared about like the millennium bug and it was when you and Ed has diabetes and he cancelled his tours like for kind of it must have been coming up to April and May. And I was like, April and May, but everything will be fine by then. Or is that really realistic? But I remember it was when you cancelled. I was like, wait now, I feel like Natasha is someone who would know where the line of derision is okay. of, of sort of when. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. You know, like we'd all have a level of like, better not get it. You know, a bit of sarcasm about things. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, shit. Maybe this is serious. That you were my canary. Is it a canary in the mine? Yeah, it's a canary in the coal mine. Yeah. Well, thank you for recognizing me. Or is it a budgie? I don't know what a butchie is. (laughs) I like it. Is that Irish for canary? A A butchie in the coal mine? What's a A butchie? butchie. (laughs) When you call into the United States, have some respect and don't say things like butchy. You know what I mean? <laughs> butchy. It's, um, uh, you might, you guys might say like budgie. Would you say a budgie? No. Like a little... <laughs> yeah, no you think that'll do the trick? We don't say that either. <laughs> oh, not a budgie. A oh budgie. Ah, the budgie. What is it? Is well, it a little bird? What do you call a little, um, like when an elderly lady has a little, not a parrot, like probably want a cracker, but something similar. Like a parrot? Like... I don't know any elderly women with birds, but it sounds cute. It's funny because it's literally a name of the, the the type of little bird. And it's quite like a well-known bird in the UK and Ireland would be a budgie. spelled B-U-D-G-I-E. So, yeah, a budgie. You'd say budgie, but you try, what sounded so funny was you both repeated my accent. So you oh, went, what we? the hell is a budgie? <laughs> oh, you mean you just said w- whatever the BBC version would have been in No, your... no, no. You <laughs> pronounced it directly as a, with an Irish accent, but with all of the other words in your sentence as an American. So you went, what the hell is a budgie? <laughs> so <laughs> it just... I blame um, you. What's, what is, are you in Ireland now or are you in England? No, I'm in, I, I live in London but I was like half the time out um around the back of your guys's house you know camping I want to go to London because oh, you actually did go to the woods 
We did, did go to the did woods. Did you guys go to the woods? We did. We were up in the forest for a little while, but I do remember when you were staying in our yard and I would put the flashlight out and see that weird golden face. Do you remember, do you remember this? <gasps> yes. Wait, she, she slept in our yard? No. What oh. do you think she did? <laughs> <laughs> this is I rem- thought maybe like we were camping some I don't know like Worse. I'm just trying to remember I was fingering in the yard that's <laughs> right you were fingering yourself in the yard like that sounded worse I don't even know if it sounded worse it sounded fine um, maybe a long time ago I don't know I don't think so I think we'd remember if Ashling had stayed in our we've our, known our, Ashling our yard. forever <laughs> like I, I, I just actually the last time we saw maybe. you was in London we had a we had a, co- a coffee and a cocktail in London and that was a lovely evening with your co-star actually was that who Sharon was my Horgan. Did Sharon come along as well? Yeah, it was all of us. We, she... had, we Are you doing a bit right now? No, genuinely, I don't remember Sharon being there. It was the it was the cast of This Way Up. Well, Emily and Go- maybe they came at different times, honey. You might be mixing No, up your... Sharon came at a different time. We were I was there. I came to see your guys with Kamal and Emily. Oh right, that's right. Yes. That's right. Okay, I get it. I Mo's get it. was just kind of mixing up his chicks with an accent. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I have to say there are some forms of xenophobia that are absolutely fair enough. And sometimes even in the edit, I'd be editing the show and I'd be like, put me. Oh, that's Sharon. Fire enough. Like, I wouldn't totally tell us apart. Me, Sharon and the cores. I'm like, sometimes I double. I'm like, is that me? I have a beautiful voice. Well, you guys do have a very similar accent. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, we do. They're, yeah, we have a very from similar the same, accent. They're, they're from the same. They're from Ireland. Area of Ireland. Yeah. All right. Listen, um, color me educated. <laughs> I mean, I would always say it's safer to assume that people who are from somewhere don't all look alike. But actually, in this situation, it paid to be minorly racist. I suppose is the is not it's not race is it it's not race really. The circle of acceptability is shrinking quickly on who you can talk shit about. And I feel like actually you can't do it. Ira- no, the- Irish, you can totally still I do it. I feel like it's on its way out. It was Irish and Italians were the last. <laughs> I think you've out. got a few. Yeah, I think you've got a few good. I think the difference is because Ireland did well economically for a while. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, okay. just when you think we're out, they pull you back in. So now I think it's kind of allowed. Um, yeah, I think I think we've got a few. I say you've got three more years left of it, and then someone might be like, who have who do know. we have left after? I guess just American white protestants that'll be that'll be the mm. last one well we're already like making fun of christians right right all right well yeah we'll, we'll of course keep, we'll keep track um ashling what do you they're think they're the ab- bedrock of roasting <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about um helping us dole out some hot advice i feel like you know what's up even if I don't, Natasha, one of my favorite things is to do is to dole out unsolicited advice when no one has asked me for it. <laughs> and I talk at people, not with. And it's just so the idea that I would be allowed to do that now is mwah, 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 as a Italian to say. <laughs> oh, I love making fun of the you Italian. You know, you guys, I am Italian. Oh, and... Natasha, get over it. I love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ashley, stick with us. We're going to give a call Please. to Jess in <gasps> Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, the like the crown cheese? jewel of New York Jess State. Do you think Jess is a girl or a boy? Let's find out. A woman or a man? <gasps> this is truly suspense. Shit. Also, are all of your animals alive? <laughs> no, well, the one that you're seeing on the ground is the closest to, to not move. being. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. <laughs> Jess. Jess, uh, we're here with our friend Ashling B. And of Hello, course, this Jess. is Natasha. And I am Moshe. How are you calling from Buffalo, New York? Oh, dang, girl, Buffalo. Yeah, it's, uh, it's feeling like Buffalo today. It's like 64. Mm. Degrees. Yeah, yes. do you understand what that means? Ashling, I know that's got to throw you off. No, well, we d- we do Celsius here, so I might have to go. Mm, I might have to Google what that means before I'm like, sheesh, that is hot. 64 is not. It's like it's just like doesn't feel like summer anymore. It's like falls. Oh, creeping in. it's my. OK, OK. I feel like you've got something you're about to reveal, like an art piece you've done that you're going to pull down that um, sheet and just go. It's a nude painting of myself. <laughs> No, it's just my curtain at work, and I had to close it so that the lighting wasn't too bad. You look great. I love Buffalo. As we all say, it's the crown jewel of New York State, the only reason to visit the state. <laughs> they say when you go to New York, go to Buffalo. 
<laughs> yeah, once the last time if I was you can in, take it there, you can take it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, the last time I was in <laughs> Buffalo, outside of our gig, there was a an a, anti-abortion rally. So that sort of sums up my experience with Buffalo. <laughs> Jess, how can we help? She's anti-abortion. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Is it right As to terminate a world. pregnancy? That's what I want to buy. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> so um, I am calling for advice about what to do about my best friend's boyfriend. Um, so they live across the country. We've spent a lot of time together because they go back and forth. I go there all the time. Um And they've had, you know, some issues, all couples fight. um, And he always comes to me, his boyfriend always comes to me when there's an issue. And my best friend is not comfortable with this. You know, he, he's likes to keep things close to the chest. If we've ever had an issue, he doesn't talk about it with anyone. He's just a private Mm. person. I respect. Um, And I can't seem to get him to understand that even though he knows his boyfriend is not comfortable with it, I'm not comfortable with it, that like, this is inappropriate and it can't, it can't keep happening. Um, I've tried talk to, talking to him about it and, you know, expressing like, this is crossing a line in your relationship. It's crossing the line in my friendship. I want to be your friend. I want to be there for you and other things. But when it comes to this, like, I can't be your confidant. Um, and I know the reason he's coming to me is because, you know, he's, he, I know him better than anyone. So he wants to know like the right way to approach things with him, but it, you know, it's just, it's crossing the line. And so I, I don't know how to say it better than I already have, but it just, it keeps happening. It's pretty offensive to me that you've told him that you don't want him to talk to you about the, it just feels slightly disrespectful to you. Because you've said it, you know, and you've set a boundary and he keeps crossing it. So I'm not exactly sure what to do when that happens. What do you think? Well, Ashley, what do you, any thoughts jump out? Well, I think it's love though, isn't it? She do anything for the person you love. Clearly your boy, your best friend's boyfriend loves him so much and wants to make it work. And it's almost like you're a little bit calling not behalf of yourself or your best friend, but this lovely guy who he's going out with. And it's almost like whether he should stay in a relationship where he can't talk to the person he loves and communicate with them. And that's that's kind of sad because you're his last bastion of hope. When we've all done it, we've all kind of like tried to get a best friend going, I don't understand him, you know, when you're drunk in the bar. Is do you, does he is he like was he like this with the with the girl before? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him I asked though, but was she, was she lovely? Was she gorgeous? Um, so it feels like, I think crossing a line as well, even for your own head, I'm not sure if it's that dramatic, you know what I mean? As in to, to use that language might create a narrative in your head. Like every time he does it, it's, it's bad for you. It's, it's, it's pretty sad for him, but it's almost maybe worth having a chat, but it's not your place because he's not your best friend to say, should you be in a relationship with my best friend because you can't talk to him or mm. would you invest in couples counseling? Ask him if he just could, there needs to be a third party there, which is okay sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's like, he's probably doing it because he bloody loves your friend and wants it to work and can see maybe your friend getting in the way of letting him make it work. And he's trying to get you on side. I totally agree. And I have suggested couples counseling. They've just been together for a year, but I, I have seen areas where I think that that would be appropriate. Well, um, the good news is they're probably going to break up because why? <laughs> because that's not balanced. Like for someone to keep like he obviously feels like he doesn't have enough agency in the relationship. He's like mm-hmm. bu- like bothering you all the time He's about it. He's trying to it. create an alliance like yeah, a, like it just a reality seems show. Like your friend doesn't like him as much as he likes him, you know, but hopefully that could change, but I I'm, I'm just saying that yeah. that is what it smells like. Well, can I, okay, mm. I have a question. First of all, yeah. are you wearing a California med- medallion around your neck? I, I am. They live in LA. And From my best Buffalo? Friend has- Actually, on, and honestly, I don't mean to change the subject, but you're not really allowed to wear that. And just as a <laughs> California native, I just can't really allow that. But uh, You're okay. crossing Moshe's line. That's right. Th- th- now, that was a boundary. That was a boundary. And see, now you're respecting my boundary, and we appreciate that, just like this guy won't. Okay, here's a question. You said, <laughs> you, said you can't think of a way to say it more clearly than what you have. What 
exactly what have you said? What was the way in which you made this boundary? So I have said that, you know, my, I, I don't want to say their name, so I'm sorry to keep my best friend, but it's... Um, Luckily, your face is completely blurred out in this and your identity will be <laughs> They'll never know who you who it was. Um, I said, you know, he's really not comfortable with this. He's expressed it to me. He's expressed it to you. Um, I, I want to be there for you and I want to help you, but I... Like, I can't with this. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I totally understand. Like, I think that's wise. I think that that's, you know, smart. But then the next time something happens, like recently they were on a date and he was texting me during the date. Oh, my God. Like complaining about things he was doing. And I just didn't respond. And then the next day I was like, you know, or no, the next day he messaged me and said like, oh, it ended up really being really good, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm so glad that you guys had a good time. I was like, um, I, I can't do that. Like you, you can't like real time be messaging me, complaining about him. Like this can't happen. And he says, yes. And then I go, yeah. It's funny. Your silence worked though, in a sense. One thing myself and my best friend have this thing and it turned out to be a random word, but like almost like a safe word or a code word I love this and we were like sometimes well we are best friends she's my soulmate she's in a different stage of life where she has like you guys like just a like um a two-year-old uh baby my goddaughter and just there's so much going on and I'm in a kind of weird world doing totally different things and it's almost like sometimes I might text her and be like oh my god this happened blah, 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 blah. and she won't have the emotional capacity to reply to me but um, but I know she loves me. And if she could, she would. And sometimes she'll be like, blah, blah, blah. And I want her to, to feel seen. But also I literally can't in the way I get back. And You're we came up with it. We were like, oh, we'll use stuff, something. Right? It's, I, I can't. Like, and they're so heavy. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. right. I get that. You can't carry on a relationship. No one, oh, and then texting. So what do you say? Um, <laughs> but we said, well, we, we we had a word that we thought wouldn't stick and it was Theresa May, who was a former UK prime minister who wasn't even a feminist. <laughs> right. And we were like, ah, something like that. And it has stuck now for four years. And we go, Theresa May, but I love you. And if you could say, because he might not always realise when he's doing the thing, because it's not like it always comes out in the exact same auto receive message, or he might not clearly understand when he's doing what it is that you think you're being very clear about. And if you could be like, do you know what? I love when we talk. I love when we emote. But if you do something with me, with my friend, I'm just going to send you Theresa May, whatever it is, yep. the state of California, whatever it is, the, the buffalo phrase. wings and that little <laughs> yeah, buffalo sure. wings. Yes. Love that one. And <laughs> That means I love you. I believe in you guys, but this is gray area I can't go into. And it'll it's just a bit more fun than silence. And the next day going, you can't do that anymore. You crossed a line. It, it'll just, because they could get married and work it out. But maybe for you, you have to protect yourself in this situation, I think. I mean, Ashling, that's fascinating. I love it. I totally love it too. Because my, prim wings. my primary <laughs> feeling listening to you talk, Jess, about this is that this is feeling like, um, like, uh, UN negotiation between Kosovo and Albania. It's like it's right. So you're tense. feeling very heavy. It's so from tense. It. You're it's, stressed from. There's it. no lightness to it. It's like Moshe listen. and Natasha did a podcast from that from that particular negotiation there, so they really know what that <laughs> felt like. They did another episode. That's right. I was on one side. She was on the other. It was one of the best endless honeymoon, but, but it's just, it's feeling so fraught with, I miss that one. it's just feeling so fraught with like intensity and not lightness. Like, I know that this is hard for you right now, but really I can't because my alliance is with my best friend as I love you. Yes. Yay. Though I love you. I can't, nonetheless, I cannot walk the street with you. It's like what Ashton's talking about is exactly right. It's like Buffalo wings. I love you, but no, you know, you're going there again. Uh -uh, Buffalo no. wings emoji. Yeah. And it, exactly. And that's it. And it's just like light. Like, oh, I know you're tripping right now, but I can't be involved in this. You know, you know that rule. I love you. Bye. I just think that's the mm -hmm. that's the new way to try to set this boundary. And have fun. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And tell them you don't have to agree on it. You can unilaterally declare a meme. You can say, I'm gonna send you buffalo wings just to let you know. Well, I think you're hot and spicy. You're is a little too greasy <laughs> for me right now. 
<laughs> no, you do your own thing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck. So, uh, let us know if that works. Yeah, tell us. Keep in touch. Tell us if it works. Okay, I will. Well, I just want to say I love all of you so much. So thank you so much for having me on. I've listened since day one. So. Thank you. We love oh. you too. And I, I feel like I can trust you a little bit. Yeah. Now, Natasha's doing this. Natasha's doing this thing right now where she won't give me the. Com- it just and I know. Is this about a threesome, Moshe? No, no. Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's about a foursome. Because awkwardly, you're gonna have to pick one of us off, Natasha. So, oh right. Well, I'll just excuse myself. Um, Jess, thanks for calling. <laughs> Good luck. Bye, Ann. Oh, she gone. She gone. Bye. Wait, Ashling. She's frozen. You're best friends with your soulmate? How do you, how, how, how do you? No, best friend slash soulmate. Oh, my best friend. No, as in like, I'm not going out with her. She is my best friend. And I do believe in life, you might meet your soulmate and they might be someone you go out with, or they might be your sister or your mother, or your brother. Mine is my best friend I met at university. And our souls are like, she has to tell her wife. She's like, oh no, you're my wife, but my soulmate is Ashling. Um, it's that type of relationship. This is my soulmate. <laughs> he's alive by the this way he jumped up and i was like okay <laughs> don't you think we have a lot of mates for our soul in in the life yeah absolutely is that an elegant way to put it yeah it was really good <laughs> <laughs> don't you think it's a lot of souls <laughs> and you know leonardo he, he painted the soul and you see Whoa. the light that come from the fresco uh the fresco <laughs> If you don't believe in a soulmate, you got to try my rigatoni. It'll make you think, oh, this sauce, this this sauce is my soulmate in some way. Natasha, who's your soulmate? Honestly, I make a pesto with a fresh basil. I think to myself, I think to myself, oh, oh, you're my soulmate, basil. I love you, I love you. And the next thing you know, it's a tomato, you know? So who knows what a soulmate is? Uh, it could be this, it could be that. <laughs> my soulmate, honey, it's obviously you. Oh, uh, yes. Yay. I went fishing and I caught the fish I wanted. Um... Ashlyn, do you have time to stick around and do one more call? I am going absolutely nowhere. As I said, since the BAFTA, very few emails. (laughs) She's going nowhere since she saw my my post about COVID 18 months ago. That's (laughs) right. What if you came out of your... I have not left. Once Leggero was on it, I thought, oh shit, this might be serious. So I just follow her for updates. And if she tells me to get a fax, I'll get a fax. She says, oh, I don't know about the fax. I'm not getting a fax. Oh, no. That that makes me think I should be, like, um, posting You should more. stop with the anti-vax posting. Oh, yes, my I God. Agree. I agree. I think it's because I feel like, it's bit, like, your comedy, it'll be like, I'm like, oh, you'll find where the ridiculous line is and you'll go to like the dark thoughts we might all have so when you're like actually no guys let's take this seriously i'm like yeah okay definitely like that's do you know what i mean see but that's so interesting because i should be doing that with comedy but instead i'm doing that with covid covid (laughs) i'm a stand-up covid (laughs) you're a stand-up epidemiologist You're uh, a Covidian. Covidian. <laughs> Covidian. You know there's going to be one at the end of all. Ac- actually, when... when uh, Edinburgh- Do you know what, Natasha? I don't like your comedy, but I love your views on healthcare <laughs> and diseases <laughs> and illness. An illness. You know, as my doctor. I promise you that when... Ed- I trust you 100%. When Edinburgh fires back up, there will be a show called Covidian <laughs> about someone's journey through COVID. Without a doubt. Um, okay. Oh, wait, Ashling, I have a question uh, before we go to Sarah Please. in Seattle. What's the what's the hottest vaccine in the UK? What are people taking? Are you all AstraZeneca country? Well, Moshe, I'm glad you asked. At the moment, it's whatever you can get your hands on. I personally, I'm not sure if you can tell, but Oxford AstraZeneca. Oh, you look at, yes, you look me. at, girl. Yes. <laughs> your skin is glowing with that. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I could. I t- I thought maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's AstraZeneca. Maybe Is that a- it's AstraZeneca. Okay, okay, you got that. Okay, I didn't know if that ad campaign made yeah, it over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and do you yeah. guys need oh, boosters? Oh, listen, we don't budgie again. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know. Um, uh, we don't know yet. But I also, to be honest, that's one thing I have a problem with. On a serious note, how dare we get boosters when most of the world hasn't even gone near right. a vaccine for their elderly family and friends? How dare we get like. What, an extra one just in case for cutesy cutesy. And I know it's, unless you're very vulnerable, like, get, please give it to other people's grannies and other people's countries. Do you know what I mean? 
But I think the idea is that we could be needing boosters every three to four months, potentially, as it just well, runs and out. Then, and then you're like, yeah, well, well, I didn't know that when I got it. I was like five to six months because I got mine a little bit earlier. And so did my sister because she was, uh, you know, there was a kind of thing where they hadn't really exactly managed giving out the vaccines here very well. And so sometimes there would be like, 20,000 a day going into the river because you know you have to give them out mm-hmm. at a certain time so she happened to be nearby a place going hey will someone come in at the end of the day but now we're like oh so we'll also <laughs> run out of do we run out of immunity I didn't know it wasn't like a forever thing but then- I know wasn't that a bad realization although uh, to be honest I had a nice realization just now which is that London because of how old school it is they have to put their discarded vaccines in straight in the into tents. the river yeah <laughs> I love Straight that. Straight in there. It, it's and like a man's a Dickens like, short story. Yes. <laughs> I'm sick of picking out these bloody vials. And the, Every time, who's going to clean them up, mate? Is that a river eel I see? <laughs> Give me that eel to make an eel pie. <laughs> I don't have time for pies. I've got him straight out of the river. I'm too busy picking up vials. Best part of this eel here, it prevents yeah. COVID infection. This is literally a scene from the the opening scene from Great Expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Pip and Magwitch. You guys are really cute. Oh, let's go on the road, Ashling. Let's develop this. Why into not, something. Moshe? Yeah. Let's turn it and let's no idea be wasted. It must be developed into something. Indeed. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to make one more call to Sarah in Seattle. Woo-hoo. Now, Seattle has a much better lifestyle, in my opinion, than Buffalo. Amen. Yeah, I'd rather Excuse spend Excuse me. Summer in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the temperature is there, Natasha, just as a guest before you I'd meet Sarah? I'd say it's 76. Oh. Okay, let's find out from okay. Sarah. But that would be a beautiful day. So it's probably like Hi. Hi, Sarah. What's the temperature Hi. in Seattle? Uh, it's probably like 70-ish. Ooh. Somewhere around 70. There. Could you be more specific? <laughs> yes, hold it's, on. A marriage is on the line. <laughs> a marriage is on the line? Okay. Sarah, we're going to have to put you for an answer. 61. 61? 61. 61. Sarah, yeah, are you wearing a light kimono? You couldn't tell that. I did it for Natasha. I had to wear my kimono. Oh, beautiful. okay, thank you. Uh, so, do you know Ashling B and Mo? I do. I. <laughs> I would have yes. thought you went no. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> that was not the right way to introduce you. And have you heard of her? <laughs> do you have you know heard of her? her? <laughs> have you I heard of her at all? There's so knew. much pressure. <laughs> I was saying it as a joke, like surprise. It's all of us. Oh, hey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and Sarah's like, are you the producer? No. <laughs> I'm the, the celebrity guest. I feel like every every day I'm saying something really dumb and I feel like I'm like out of social practice. Indeed. I feel that same <laughs> way. I'm just kind of like <laughs> at the playground, like with other moms. I'm like, why did I just Now, does tell your her kid that? always smell like that? Or is that just <laughs> things like that? <laughs> Sarah, what's happening? How yes. can we help? Besides suggesting you watch This Way Up on Hulu. Oh, yes, I know. And I love living with yourself, too. That was such oh, a good show. Thank you. Know. you. Ashling is supremely talented. Indeed. We don't even have people like her in America. You, you should have you seen the impression she did of... They go the immigrants in. ...of <laughs> eel, pie, eel Pie Edward she was doing earlier. You missed out oh. on, a, on, a, on a truly... You think I wouldn't do it again? <laughs> oh, I could take out them pushing old dialogue. For some reason on a gondola. Yeah, no, I saw it, though. A, and he's got a lamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just quicker way to use a boat. <laughs> because those Italians, if you don't mind me saying, despite being weird, sorry, I think it's okay to talk about Italians that way, but they do some good ideas about boats. No, you know, I, I love the character, Ashling, of guy in the 1800s London who's still a little worried about like saying something problematic about the Italians. He's like, look, I'm not trying to be <laughs> offensive over here, but you know, I mean, they're, they're good at boats. There's there's no such thing as a woke uh, old Italian man. There's no such thing as a, as a woke eel, <laughs> eel hunter either. Okay, Sarah, sorry. We, we've gotten off the track. Onto the river, off the track. What's happening? How can we help? Well, um, I've been dating my boyfriend for four years, like a little bit over four years and we are like polar opposites on the personality continuum Mm -hmm. and like I would describe him in the antiquated term of like man's men man's man's 
And um, so he likes kind of a me uh, type, kind of a me type. Yeah, that's right, Moshe. Us three girls you're hanging around with think that too. <laughs> <laughs> but Moshe, do you do you enjoy shooting guns and taking care of your chickens? I I might from time to time. I might. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's like, that's who he is. <laughs> and in but Seattle, am, that's, like, that's not the go-to exactly. No, no. Yeah. He's a different mm. breed in Seattle. More Tom yeah. Hanks in Seattle, I think. You know, single dads who can't sleep. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh, pull that reference out of the old days. <laughs> it was in the river, I believe, Ashley. <laughs> what was that? Was that Sleepless in, in Seattle? Seattle? <laughs> Well, VHS. <laughs> oh, you watch that nowadays. <laughs> and what? And you're more of a what? Of a um, creative type. I like reading books. I like going to live music. Got it. I like you were fine kind of educating myself. You're a woman. Yes, I'm very yes. And you're so, smart. like, we don't share really any shared interests for the most part. Um, so I've decided in the past like two years, I need to end this relationship, but I don't have really any practice because I've only been in one other committed relationship, which was like six months. And, um, it was easy to end cause there were like weird things that were easy to walk away from. And we didn't have to have like a traditional breakup. Um, so I need like a plan of what to say, like when to say it for this breakup because I'm like super anxious about it. Mm, mm. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sarah. That's oh no, hard. it's okay. I've come to terms over like two years of like thinking but about it. But it's also it. someone you, it's, I actually think it's harder when there's not a big reason because you're looking at someone going, I love you, but is this definitely it? I or want are something we else. The people who might, yeah, I want something else or like, God, it's one thing, it's easier when you're angry at someone and you're like, yeah. oh, you don't make me happy. But what if it's almost like, I also don't make you happy and yeah, that's awful. Definitely. Like it's, 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 you know, maybe he needs someone who just loves the shit out of chickens and protects them with guns for some reason, which I think <laughs> is uh, an overreaction. Depends yeah. on the size of the chicken. If they're big enough, you need the gun. The chickens are good size. Yeah. <laughs> if that chicken was badly wanted by the community, That's maybe right. in the apocalypse, then <laughs> you will know. need your gun. So um, what are the logistics? Do you guys share an animal? Do you have do you share a house? We do. We share a dog uh, who's one years old. We oh, share no. a house. You have to give um, him the dog. Oh, what you own My a house parents, together? Well, he technically owns it, but I we both put money in for it. And so and then my family loves him. Mm. Like Absolutely. So I think I'll break their heart too. <laughs> so you, like, do you know your family though? And it's it's so, uh, you have to remove other people from it because yeah. you probably love his family as well. Your no, family, no matter no, I don't. what. Oh, great. Fantastic. As long as you don't put that anywhere on record. Um, <laughs> Whoops. But uh, like your family probably love him because they think, he's making you happy and looking after you like he'd look after one of his chickens. So to take, take them out of the equation because they, they will be fine. And that's, that's another kind of gendered should, should, should uh, thing that you, you stay in. I suppose it's like with that, with a house, you have to be careful that you have your stuff and your money. If it's his house, technically it is his house. That is something you have to go work out how to do the money, but that might be somewhere you lose a bit of cash over. That's just the reality of that. What about the dog? Yeah, that's the bigger thing. I don't care about the house yeah. as much as the I think, dog. I think, Sarah, I think you give him the dog. No, I don't think so. Why I, do you get the dog? Because he loves me more. <laughs> oh, well, that's good if that's your reaction, though. I think maybe give him the house and keep your dog. Is it clearly your dog? I was the reason we got it, and mm -hmm. I feel like I take mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. care of the dog and have more time for the dog. He's too. probably not going to be as um, contentious over that. If you're like, I'm moving out, I would love the dog. You can walk him at weekends or whatever, but I, I'm i going to... That's like a comfort you get to bring because you don't have your home anymore and you have to yeah. move on. And I actually think... I think when you want to end something with someone, all you can see are, are their bad bits and you can create a narrative that they're going to be horrible. He's going to shoot me with one of his chicken guns, you know, <laughs> but actually he's still the person that you loved enough to stay with for four years. And he might well be a lot more loving than you give him credit for. 
and to not create an argument like he's going to try to take my dog and my money and my and and he's your instinct was probably that you're with the the right type of person maybe but he's also taught you well but but as in you know what I mean in terms of like staying with someone for four years of course your interests but like you've gone through a pandemic together you've managed to live through a lot of life and he's a big chapter in your autobiography which I can't relate to <laughs> Um, lots of sleep in Seattle. Oh, <laughs> He's back. Reference. He's back, is oh, he? I think so. And oh, oh, <coughs> that's all for me, guys. I mean, I'm um, more curious yeah. about this. Um, you've been with him four years, but two years ago you realized it was yeah. over. So half of this well, relationship. It's been yeah. in the pandemic. But half of the relationship has been, I need to get out of here. But you still don't have an articulated idea of what you want to say to him when you go. Well, yeah, because I don't want to hurt his feelings, but it's like, yeah, we have like dissimilarities, but it's more like he doesn't know how to communicate. He has no emotional depth. <laughs> he just like the more and more like the little things of when I'm like, can you pick off, pick up the trash mm. off the sit, like the counter, like and Here, throw it away. Like you're becoming a person you don't like around him. You're becoming someone you don't like. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I like, we bicker all the time and it's annoying. Like I know he doesn't like me like nagging him. Do you want to work on the relationship? No. Okay. No. So you, and you don't need to tell him that, but you have to like, I think just writing out what is your ideal situation? He probably knows. Yeah. And like, do you want to be friends with him? Um, do you, do you, you know, do you, you've got to just, you don't even have to answer this, but I think it's really important. Like, do you want, do you want the dog? Do you want the house? Do you want to be friends with him? Like logistically, if you can like, when you do have the conversation, if you have answers for everything, it can really help, you know, or at least pitches of how you want things to go. And like just really trying to like mentally sending him love like while you're talking to him and try to resist like being like like knocking him when he's down like mm -hmm. you know and you and, and you know it's like I just can't live like this in this mess like if you could just try to like as an exercise in try to be like Eckhart Tolle or something or you know like just try to have like self-discipline of your mind of like just I'm going to be aware of my thoughts. Yeah, almost like a, remember the person you fell in love with when you're breaking up with him. And that's a re I think that's a great idea, Natasha. Like if you go in with a list of things you want, like you don't for have to example, show them the you list. don't need the house. <laughs> you don't don't show them the list. Come on. Here's my demands. I'm <laughs> nailing them to the front of the church. Um, I, I think like if you have your like if you go in going, I know I'd like the dog. I'll just mail I don't them need to, to him. In this house. Just yeah, mail it. But like that means that as the conversation might, you can't control how the conversation goes. You don't know what his reaction is going to be. You know that you're like, well, how do I get my dog out of this? Or how do I give him that? And, and a plan to when to walk away. But also to put it, I remember someone saying to me when they were breaking up with me and it was so sad and I was definitely more into it than they were. What? Wait, wait a minute. What? It was bad. Die. Okay, okay. It was okay. an old man <laughs> sure. far, far long ago. But I remember like that that element of being like, you deserve someone who can make you happier yeah. than the way I do. Because mm -hmm. even saying like he has no emotional depth, he might just not need deep conversations. I personally love them. But what'll end up happening is you'll start making him feel stupid. He'll start feeling stupid. Mm -hmm. He won't be able to give you what you want. And he's starting to make you feel like you're nagging because you have to repetitively ask for something he's never going to be able to give you. Yeah. And you're just both feeling shitty. And when you're someone with more emotional depth, I know this happens to me sometimes because, you know, we're clever. We use our words for a living. You can start being mean in a way that they don't even have the ability to come back with. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I do that to Moshe, but he has the ability so, to come back. <laughs> oh, but Moshe's dumb as fuck. <laughs> well, Moshe's a total fucking dumb dumb. But what? I got these chickens. So... I got these chickens, though. <laughs> God, protect them at all costs. You do not need a gun for a chicken base, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I would say if you can try and remember all of the joyful bits, like where it was actually nice to be with someone who was surface level for a while and, and that that What's silliness the that he might have given you or or basic level of like getting in there with the chickens in the farm and nature and break up with that person. So leave them with that, even if you're dying to get in the last few digs. You know what I'd say, you know what you could do would be worse than what he could do back to you. I think is probably the thing. Um, and when I've broken up with guys before, when it's happened, men why, why before. Making, why are you making eye contact with me? 
I never broke up. I haven't broke up with you yet. <laughs> Sometimes I would just be like, I just need, I, it's just a feeling I have. I just need to have like, it's just, I just have to follow, you know, what I, I just have this. I would always say I wanted to be alone. Mm. But I don't know. I, I'm also like, good advice. <laughs> no, kind of a liar. But you know, just like, it's like, it's just like a, you can't help how you feel. It's just like a feeling I have. Yeah. It's an instinct. I just feel like I want to just like, be alone and like just explore my life, uh, you know, in, in, in by myself, right? Or I don't know. It's like just making it seem like it's just this feeling I have and I can't stop thinking about it. So I just have to honor it and I'm sorry. Yeah. And, you know, uh, you can, I'll, I'll give you $10,000 and you can keep the house and I'm <laughs> yeah. taking the dog. Well, I mean, whatever the down, <laughs> splitting the down payment. But yeah. here, here's the thing too. Do not split the dog. No, don't split the if dog. If he fights yeah. you on it, you have yeah. to give it to him. Mm-hmm. I well, or I think he one, might give it to me though. That'd be yeah, nice. one person, so but he too. might be mad, so he might withhold it from yeah. you or something. One person needs oh. to have the dog at the end of the breakup. We do not support yeah. the idea of ex couples sharing a dog. We don't. Yeah, I not. don't like that. It depends no. on the person though, because some people might just transition mm-hmm. immediately into mm-hmm. friends and like to see each other once in a mm-hmm. while. You know what? I don't support. I don't support sharing custody of the dog. Or the I've got a box of your stuff. Uh, you have some of my stuff at your house. I need to come get it. I don't support either of those ideas. Let go of the you stuff. You don't support getting your stuff. Put it on what the if porch. It's your bath tub? Put it on the. <laughs> <laughs> I left it? my BAFTA okay. at your wait, house. Wait, Ashling. <laughs> I want to come get my BAFTA and some of my old tampons and then I'll be out of your life forever. Well, <laughs> yeah, a- Ashling, you always k- held it with you when you were intimate with a man, right? That was that was one of your new rules. Yes. You're, 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 <laughs> hold on. I'm a mask on. It's <laughs> um, like your fucking success. Here's my, here's my thought, here, hearing all of this. You have, because it's been so long, the things that were uh, reasons that you wanted to get out of the relationship have curdled and crusted into resentments that you have for him. You now there are now judgments Ugh. that you have for him, and your discipline has to be not to bring those judgments out because you don't need to mention any of them to get out of. Don't this relationship. kick him while he's down. Exactly, just like Natasha said, like all this, like you're kind of a goomba and you like you like chicken, like that. But here's the thing. Here's the dangerous part. You know that going in. But you're going to go in and you're going to say, I want to end this. And he's going to say, well, you're a uh, this, this, that things you did not know that he felt about you. Oh, that's so are true. Are going to come up and you're going to go, oh, really, motherfucker? Well, I got a list yeah. of things that the I The reason why like. I did that was because you, dude. D- you're stupid. You've never read a book. Oh, my God. You're Paul Bunyan. Whatever, right? Yeah. So, so. You don't need a gun for chickens. <laughs> so you have to know all that stuff going into it. And actually, my suggestion is if you are having a difficult time making a, a roadmap, Ashley and Natasha gave you some good advice about making yeah. a list and not kicking them while well, they're down. And all I jumped stuff. on Natasha's. I would thing. say, you know, there are couples counselors with whom you can go have a breakup that together. guy doesn't even read a magazine. But He's no. not going to go to a you, couple. You can no, do it unilaterally. You can say, hey, He's I'm going to not- he won't do yeah, it. Yeah, he's not into counseling at all. No. One thing I will say is that with people who don't express their emotions a lot, I think, Moshe, you stumbled across something there which is very valid, is that if if they, they're not used to expressing their emotions and they haven't been letting it out for quite a while, but they've been silently realizing something, is Moshe's right. This might be something that makes him go... Blah, 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 yes. And that's one thing you might have to be prepared for, which I didn't really think of before, but that, that could push him into something. And that's where you have to stand your ground. And like like Natasha was saying, not come come back with it because it's a waste of your energy. Totally. Amen. Um, and you have to immediately tell yeah. your family after you tell him. And you have to like yeah. say yes. Well, I was thinking of like showing them this <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, surprise. This and, there, and your family wants you to be happy. But there is no better feeling. Not Oh, there is a better feeling. But it's a very good feeling to get out of a relationship cleanly and not feel like you've created a, a, a waste of wreckage behind you as you've mm. left. It's nice to get out with compassion, even if you're not being met with that same compassion. Maybe you will. Maybe he'll answer you and go like, okay, it's not working for me either. Or maybe he'll... Maybe t- he'll write his first poem to you in six months. I tell you, I bet he's deeper than you. He's probably a deeper thinker than you think. He just is Dear to... Sarah, no. <laughs> okay. I love you like I love my chickens. But the one thing I also like doing is fucking and fricking. I would protect you with my gun. But there's nothing I love more than my Sarah, huh? Oh, yeah, well, let's get back together. <laughs> well, he can't spell very well, so it might be a little hard for me. Okay, Sarah, this is what we're this talking poor about. Guy. Kicking he him really, always down. He really does deserve a nice... 
simple gal who's going to make him his grits and rub his feet at night and tell him he's hot and fuck him all the time. This is why you don't wait two years to break up. Because go to the, the NASCAR race. By the time you get to two years, you're, you're not just over the relationship. You're sick of the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it's time to come. I think the game plan is make your list, know what you want to say, and come in knowing that compassion is the, the rule and of law. And if all else fails and he freaks out, just blame it on COVID. Oh, just yeah. be like, you know, the <laughs> pandemic. It just... It was too much. It it was, you know, look at the wreckage. He doesn't there's, believe there's, in COVID. No, he does. He, he, does, he does. But he tried to shoot it away with but, a you gun. But, you know, it really has, <laughs> you know, everyone in a relationship is feeling a level of this, except Jeremy and Miranda, our friends. They seem to be more uh, in love than ever. But, you know, it's like it does. <laughs> yeah. Who, who needs them? Amen. <laughs> But it's it's really, you know, it's 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 hard. So anyway, good luck to you. So like a question would be then, because this might blindside him, like how do you even like get into the breakup? Yes, I know what you mean. Like, do you say, let's sit down and have a talk? Or like how do you There's I- never a good time to do it? You just have well, what do you think, Ashling? It mo- not drunk. Well, I I I think you're right, but not yeah, not drunk. And maybe not like at sort of eight o'clock. I would say start about five mm-hmm. in case it goes till eight. And then you, there's nothing worse than like it being midnight. Then you having to go and you're all crying and stuff like that, which could well happen. You might be like, mm-hmm. ha ha ha, I'll go on a podcast. But in the interim, there'll probably be a lot of emotions coming up. Um, and, 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 and also, what are you going to do? You should have like a, you should maybe be like, I'm leaving tomorrow on this trip. You that know? night, you have to get out of there. Yeah. Don't sleep tonight. You'll have sex. You'll dopamine yeah. with yeah. each other, bonding, serotonin all over again. So yeah. leave with the place you go. I'm going to go and stay at Marie's tonight. You know, I assume you've got a Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go stay with Marie. <laughs> don't call me. I don't want to hear from you. Great Seattle accent, <laughs> accent by the way. That you was more it. Buffalo. I want you to <laughs> tell <laughs> Derek. I told her he's your best friend. I want you to open up to Derek. I'm going to text him. Make sure he checks in. Okay, let's go. I'm sleepless <laughs> over here. I'm sleepless. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, what's your question? Well, no, I was going to say, so uh, we just went on a vacation and like I had these fights with my mom and he wanted to like interfere and took her side and stuff. So I thought, would that be maybe a good way to like start the breakup and be like, no, to bring up a grievance? (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, just to say, like, after our trip together, I realized that this isn't going to work. No, no. no. Okay. Okay. Make him. How would you feel if someone said that to you? Uh, yeah, not good. And also don't bring your family in because he has clearly loved your family. So yeah. don't bring something that if you still wanted to be with him would actually be a lovely thing. Not taking okay. sides, but like the fact that he loves your family yeah. as a way of maybe loving you. Don't bring in. You took my mother's side like he was probably also right. trying to be like a nice part of your family and trying to love yeah. you by keeping you guys calm and you happier, not yeah. doing it the right way. But that could have been a sign that he loves you. Okay. So I would say leave that out. Go I, recently, I, I, like Natasha said, I've been having these feelings, you know. What about like, I know you want kids, but I don't. So like this won't work. He's just going <laughs> to be like, oh, then I don't there's, need them. There's no reason for you to come up with yeah. the right lie. Why come up with the lie that will work when the truth will do? You don't want to be in the relationship any longer. Like you want out. And you can also say, I don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah. Now, the only problem with that is I've done that before. And then you like immediately start dating someone else and then eh, they get mad. What are you going to do? Here's the real thing. I was <laughs> thinking to start it, you know, certain things are cliches for good reason. We need yeah. to talk. It would, will do. Okay. Hey, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to be here and there, but I want to get together with you because I need to talk to you about something. He'll know. Okay. It's a cliche mm-hmm. for a yeah. reason. Oh, no, it's going to be yeah. a terrible conversation. Well, it is. There's no way to go like, oh, but if I come up with the right, mm, maybe the mom thing, it's going to yeah. be bad. Moshe, what are you doing after we shoot this yeah. podcast? Why? I just I just wanted to know if you had time to talk. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 uh, what's your, what's your ex's? That's a classic gag. I feel I enjoyed that. Gag. What's your ex's uh, number? I might go camping with him actually this weekend. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to Laura. Just, just don't play him this podcast. Try not to deride yeah. him. Yeah. Try to give him love, even if it's just like through your like body feeling, like just like yeah. psychically, you know. Just try to like do that, and um, and yeah, that's that's the best that you can hope for. And, and be honest that you are 
the honesty is, isn't it, that like you're you're gonna make each other unhappy. Yeah. Like you're gonna bring him down. Yeah. So it's for him. It's not like you're doing something to him that's like, oh, if he'd stayed with you for the rest of the life, he would have been happy. You would have made each other really sad. So it's an it's an act of service, you know. It's hard because he's a simple man. So like I think he's <laughs> content in this relationship. So like the thing that's is, why it's hard. Sarah, you know? your contempt mm. for him, I can I can feel that it's you I can, can feel, feel it. <laughs> And you and 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 I get and I don't think it's based on reality. He doesn't seem I, I don't know yeah. him obviously, but I I would venture a guess that he's not as contemptuous as much as a person who you've been with much too long, and now it's okay. curdled into this feeling of like disgust, and just you got to get out because you will. The longer you stay, yeah. the more likely you'll hurt him on the way out. And okay, that's and I have the to say one more. Want. I have to, say, I have to yeah. say one more thing though. Try to be as generous as you can, even with the logistics. Okay. If if it's like if you can ha- if if you're not really that into the dog, like give him the give him the choice to choose. If you really you know if you make more way more money than him, like just try to be generous when you split everything up so it's like a deal that works for him. So he doesn't mm-hmm. have the compounded stress of like now yeah. I'm fucking broke. Now I'm, you know what I yeah. mean. So I think that's a yeah that's just always a nice thing to do for goodwill and never forget that he owns yeah. guns so be soft <laughs> be kind be compassionate okay we have to go goodbye honey good luck all right good luck let us bye. know how it goes thank you guys bye I, I think we gave her really good advice you guys that we were that was i expected that to go sillier than it went and that was i'm i'm very touched by that that one got my heart guys thought you guys were lovely the generous thing I well, love it's a Lennon form of you. manipulation. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's true. called paying them off. <laughs> Ashley. Emotionally paying them off. Yeah. Emotionally <laughs> and and financially, you're like, hey, listen, uh, you know, here's an extra, here's an here's extra a five, check. here's a five hundred bucks. Um, enjoy your new life as a single man. <laughs> bye bye now. Hey, bye bye now. Maybe take a trip over to the. Hey, sweetheart, stop crying. <laughs> you? Hey, that's your rent for a month or two. Oh, it is kind yeah. of like how a mafia man would break up, break up with a woman. <laughs> like, and you know what, honey? It's five hundred dollars. You take care now, all right? I'm just. What do you, you want the dog or something? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hi, well, hey, see, but I would. Things. Here's what I do. If I really wanted the dog, I'd be like, here, I'll, 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 you, I'll, I'll pay off your side of the mortgage. Blah blah blah. But you know, I'm gonna keep Mayor Cutie. Mm-hmm. But but when I broke up with my boyfriend, he let me keep Mayor Cutie, and that was really nice. We're all very grateful, grateful to him for that. <laughs> um, Ashley, and now he runs the town <laughs> like no ever mayor has no, done it's before. My dog. It's rarely a problem with garbage, and <laughs> no, I, miss, I just enjoy the idea of the dog being like. Rawr, rawr. Thank you, Mayor Mayor Cutie, ladies and gentlemen. Ashley. You are so funny. You you just like you are, are very funny. just endless. Like what people hilarious. say behind my back. Well, you'll find out <laughs> if you tune in after you log off the Zoom. We'll be talking about you, so you'll be able to know. Have you ever done one of those? Oh, I'll well, never tune off the Zoom. <laughs> Wait, you I'll know what's really great that I have to say in LA? That's the only place where, like, or you know, in America, do you ever have this in in, in the UK where you go to do a radio show and while you're doing the show, they put an iPad in front of you of like what all the fans are saying, and a lot of times they're like, "Fuck this person, <gasps> fuck this person." <laughs> Women are yeah, funny. Why are awful. these people guests? Why well, I hate this person. We should do that. <laughs> Show us a tit. Yeah. Show us where, a tit. Where is she even from? Stupid Irish people. It's a we funny. Don't talk like that. It's We're a funny Italian instinct, over here. But it's such a funny instinct to put the <laughs> iPad towards the guests. I know. Like anybody wants that. <laughs> Engagement. Yeah, or some, some comments from listeners here. And and you can see them go, or if or if the, you can't see the iPad and you're in a radio station and they're like this. Oh, so let's see what people on Twitter right. are saying. Oh. Ashing, uh, we got Ju. Okay. Uh, Mary here is uh, is is liking the show. <laughs> like, okay, but you know you what? Just keep scrolling. Oh. <laughs> Jessica here in Buffalo says nothing funny is happening here and hasn't this whole time. What do you think of this? Uh, <laughs> Let's go to the song. Um, all right, Ashton, we have to go pick up our child from preschool. Uh, we love you and miss you and can't wait to someday on some continent to see you again. And whatever Natasha says, I'll do that. She says, jump on a plane. 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> she's, your, gonna... she's your epidemiologist lodestar. Well, I am yeah. going to you guys start your cult. tell people to watch This Way Up. Oh, there you go. <gasps> on Hulu, on as Hulu. you Season said. one and two are all on Hulu, Hulu in America. Please, please watch it. I would really... Hulu. 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 Um, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a great show and you're great in it. And Ashling B, Hulu and goodbye. Okay, talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye, honey. Thank That's you so much for doing this. Love you we guys. You. Love you too. Bye. Can't wait to hang. Okay, bye, Ashlyn. Uh, so, Moshe, listen, we have to go because before we pick up our kid at preschool, I, I want to talk to you. What? We just have to have a talk. What? Actually, I want to have a talk with you. I want to have a talk. No, I want to have a talk I, with you. No, no, no. I need I to have, have a talk. I have something very important I need no, to tell you. I have. I need, I need to, to have tell a talk you with important. you. Can I just tell you something important? You, you, can I Real go first? Quick, can I, can just I go, go first? Okay. You can keep Pablo. Okay, can I go now? Yeah. I love you. I love you too.